Hi, Amy with Fashion Tappings here, and I was tagged on another tag, so I figured I'd better respond to it. It's been about uh, two weeks since I was tagged, and I haven't gotten around to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it today. So I was tagged. I have all my phone. I was tagged on what was called the Shopaholics tag, and um, I thought that was very fitting for me, so thank you for tagging me. Uh, Dina tagged me on that one. Um, here are the questions. First ones, would you consider yourself a shopaholic? Well, I'm a dealaholic. <laughs> well, that's not a bad too. <laughs> oh, what I mean by that is, uh, yes, I love to go out shopping. I could go shopping every day of the week if I could. But I'm one of those people, I'm not going to buy something unless I know I got the best deal possible. And so if there's nothing on sale, there might be some things that I love, and I'm not tempted to go buy them unless I know, you know, I got a good deal on it and then I feel so much better. So yes, I'm a shopaholic as in the sense that I am constantly out trying to find the best deal that I can get on something that I want. And so, but if I find that deal, there's no saying no, I have to take it. So that's where my shopaholic part of me comes in. Uh, next question, how would you classify your style? Um, I'm kind of eclectic. eclectic. Um, I, I wear a little bit of everything. I will wear the soft pastels and, and um, be very conservative. I will also, sometimes you'll see me wear um, a tank top with a, with a big cross on the front, maybe some studs, uh, leggings and boots. You know, you know, my outfits, if you look at my closet, based on the deals that I get, that's the style that I'm wearing. And so um, I'm, I wouldn't classify myself in any one particular style. What store can you not leave without buying at least one thing? <laughs> I would have to say, um, as far as retail stores, it would definitely be TJ Maxx. Every time I go into TJ Maxx, even if I'm going in just to look, I always walk away with something. Uh, you know, it's just, it never fails. I love TJ Maxx. So I think that would have to be my, my one place that if I'm not allowed to spend any money that day, I better not walk into TJ Maxx. So next one, where do you find your best deals? Now y'all know that I'm a thrifter, so I find my best deals at the thrift store. So I mean, bar none, you know how I love to do thrifting. And um, also at my uh, secondhand stores and my consignment shops. So th they're the best deals by far. But if you have to go to a retailer, I would have to say my best deals that I get are at TJ Maxx. So that was an easy one. What designer are you willing to splurge for? Now, you all know I'm cheap. <laughs> so there's some designers that I would love to have, but as far as what I'm willing to pay for, even if they're on sale, they wouldn't be low enough for me. So, I mean, like Louis Vuitton, um, uh, Chloe, Chanel, those are my favorite. Um, but the only thing is, is even if they're on discount or if they're on sale, you know, they, they, would, be, they would be too uh, too much. So I'd have to say that the designer that I am willing to splurge for, that is usually at a price point I'm willing to uh, splurge for, would have to be Coach. I love to go up and buy a Coach purse. Uh, I get coupons for Coach. I belong to the, uh, the Coach VIP program. And so, yeah, when Coach purses come on sale, I, I will splurge on those. Those are my favorite. That and BCBG and uh, Steve Madden. So those are the, the designers that I'm willing to splurge for that get their prices in my price point that I'm willing to spend the money on, if that makes sense. Okay, next one. Uh, do you have a go-to shopping outfit? Yes, I wear black leggings. If I'm gonna go shopping, I'm wearing black leggings, especially when I, when I do my thrifting because if those dressing rooms are full or if those dressing rooms are nasty, I'm not shy. I will try on the clothes right there in the middle of the thrift store over my leggings. And so if you have your leggings on, you can try skirts on, you can try shorts on, you can try your jeans on over your leggings if you want to. So yes, my go-to uh, outfit is definitely leggings and a t-shirt. So, and usually a tank top, um, just a sleeveless tank top and a jacket. So that if I want to try on a shirt, all I have on is either a cami or a tank top. So it's, it's small enough to fit under some of the shirts. So you always have to plan ahead. Um, let's see. What is your guilty pleasure? Oh, well, a lot of you who know me very well know that um, I'm a Starbucks-aholic. And so when I'm shopping, 
I've got my purse, my cell phone in one hand, and I've got a Starbucks in the other. I have got to have my coffee with me if I'm shopping. It keeps me going, and then I won't get hungry, and I'll just shop away all day. So my guilty pleasure, I have to have a Starbucks with me when I'm shopping. Uh, and also guilty pleasures when it comes to actually fashion. I would have to be, it'd have to be my scarves and my boots, because I'd love to buy scarves and boots. What is one staple clothing piece you cannot live without? That one is easy. I didn't even have to think twice about that one. White, white slacks or white jeans. Because it doesn't matter, any top I buy, I know that as long as I have a pair of white pants that I absolutely love to wear, that I have something to wear with it. Because, you know, it, black jeans, they fade. Black dress slacks, after a while, they fade. My white jeans look brand new and they will for years to come. As long as you take care of them. So my staple piece that I can't live without, white jeans. Um, what is the trend you hope never goes out of style? That's a tough one. Oh, no, it's not a tough one. I just thought about that. Bright colored jeans. Like, you know, a lot of the, the, the you know, back when I was in high school, 25 years ago, um, there was, um, you know, a lot of printed jeans and bright colored jeans and very, you know, funny pattern jeans. And then they went out of style for many years. And then now they're back. And I hope they stay back. I love wearing bright colored jeans. You know, that, that, that style has got to stay. I hope it stays. What trend did you love that passed way too quickly? Leggings. You know, they were back at, you know, we, we used to wear leggings over our boots and over our skinny jeans in the 80s. And then, for those of you who remember that time, and then they came back just a quick burst, and then they're gone. I made them this winter in one of my tutorials that you can see in, in my tutorial playlists. Um, I made the leggings. But you know what? I've only since I've made those leggings have I seen maybe two people in public wearing leggings. And so I think that's a, yeah, a trend that came in and went right back out. But I wish it would have stayed. I know one question I'm adding in here is what trend is currently coming into style that you hope passes quickly? High-waisted jeans. I think high-waisted jeans on anyone. I think they're the most unflattering fashion that has come back into style. All these young girls are absolutely excited about getting these high-waisted jeans. I was thankful. We used to call them our mom's jeans. We used to call them mom jeans. And um, I was so happy they went out of style. And now that they're coming back, God, I, hope it, I hope it passes quickly because you'll never, 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 never catch me in a pair of high-waisted jeans. So that's one fashion fad that I hope passes very quickly. Uh, who is your fashion icon or icons? Well, as far as celebrities, it would have to be Sarah Jessica Parker, which a lot of people probably say that, um, from Sex and the City. No matter what she wears when she goes out, she just looks classy. She could be wearing the sweatshirt off her shoulder. She could be wearing her hair in a ponytail, and she still just looks trendy, and she looks just, I just, I, I adore her. I wish that show would have stayed on TV. Um, and also, I like Victoria Beckham's style. I like the way she dresses, but then again, she's now a fashion designer. But as far as designers, I would have to say definitely it would be um, Chanel, Chloe, um, and Diane Van Van Furstenberg, I always pronounce her name wrong. I, I, I always go onto YouTube and I watch all the, the runway fashion shows for spring and fall. And then I always watch them. And the ones that I always will watch once or twice is always Chanel, uh, Chloe, and uh, Diane Van Furstenberg. Person, uh, Persenberg. So those are my favorite fashion icons. That's it. That's all the questions that are on this, uh, on this tag. Well, thanks for tagging me, Dina. This is a lot of fun. And um, if you want to do this tag, consider yourself tagged and I look forward to if you do do the tag send me a video response I'd like to I'd like to hear what you think of yourself as far as are you a shopaholic and if you see how many videos that I do as far as shopping y'all know I'm a thriftaholic I'm a shopaholic <laughs> and um, I'm a sewingaholic <laughs> I don't know how else to put that so oh well well this is Amy with Fashion Toppings until next time you have a great day